Water is the single most important resource in our world. Without it, there will be no life on this planet. But for centuries, humankind has been polluting the world's water. What damage has been done? How has the composition of our water been changed? What do we need to do for the future? These are just some of the questions that prompted the global experiment, Water, a Chemical Solution. The global experiment was developed by IUPAC and UNESCO for the International Year of Chemistry 2011 to entice students all around the world to learn about the huge impact that chemistry has on water and in turn, the vital roles that water plays, not just in the environment, but in society as well. Among all the contributions chemists have made for humankind, providing water is among the most valuable. For the experiment to be truly global, it was vital that the tests involved were inexpensive and simple to understand and carry out, and so we decided on four activities that covered measuring water quality and the processes of water purification. These were the tests. Acidity. For this, students would collect data by measuring the pH of a local water body or source. Salinity, where students investigate and measure the salt content of their local water body. Filtration and disinfection, encouraging students to learn the important role that chemistry plays in helping provide safe drinking water. And finally, desalination. In this activity, students constructed a solar still from common household materials and experimented with it to attempt to purify water. The equipment and materials for the global experiment were chosen to be simple and inexpensive, but the difference between the equipment available in a school in the middle of a large first world city and those in a school in a small village can be vast. So to ensure that the children from different parts of the world could contribute equally, we produced school packs for low income communities. Each school pack contained 10 global water kits and a school resource kit featuring everything required to conduct the experiment several times. Each of these packs could be used to teach over 100 students and we sent 150 of them to more than 30 countries, giving the experiment global reach and exposing an extra 15,000 students to the wonders of chemistry. A dedicated team of experts worked for over a year to plan and implement the scheme and the project was launched at the UN's World Water Day in Cape Town in March 2011, which was also during South Africa's National Water Week. As part of the event, dubbed the Big Splash, hundreds of students became the first to conduct the global experiment tests on water quality, as well as partaking in activities that emphasise the importance of water in the region. In keeping with the spirit of how the data was collected, the first ever visualising sprint was launched as an experiment in collaborative data visualisation. Combining data from all four experiments, designers from around the world have produced together an interactive tool to show, compare and analyse all the data collected by the global water experiment. The water quality test results were, and are, vitally important. They paint a clear picture of water quality right around the world and will be studied for years to come. The global experiment was intended to provide students, especially those in developing countries, with an opportunity to become truly involved with chemistry and to learn valuable lessons about chemical investigation, data collection and validation. The twin purposes were to underline the power of chemistry to understand the world around us and to use chemistry to resolve problems of water quality. We also wanted to provide an online platform for schools and students to share their results and experiences. After all, these aren't thousands of experiments around the world, but one giant collaboration, and participants are fully engaged in this, publishing some inspirational videos and blogs. The experiment has been an unparalleled success. In terms of participant numbers, we believe it may be the biggest experiment chemistry has ever known. The results themselves have provided data that underline the power of engaging very large numbers of people in simple experimentation to amass data from across the world. The main aim, however, was always to involve students, and the numbers of student participants are staggering. The global experiment was conducted by over 3,500 classes in more than 800 cities in 80 countries around the world. The number of registered students who shared data by the end of February 2012 in the Global Experiment website stands at 77,000 432, and this number is increasing rapidly. Reports from individual countries place the number dramatically higher. The estimate from local organisers is that in Brazil alone, over 1.5 million students took part in the global experiment, so the global figures could be significantly higher. Interest in the experiments measured in the number of downloads of the experimental protocols is more evidence of the huge impact of this global activity. We in our UPAC and UNESCO may never know the true number of people we have touched, but undoubtedly we have made chemistry real and relevant to some who may not have felt this way before. Who knows, we may have introduced a future Nobel Prize winner to their calling. The year-long global experiment, Water, a Chemical Solution, has been quite remarkable both educationally and socially. 
and we want to thank all involved. All of us in our UPAC and UNESCO are very grateful to everyone who works so hard to ensure its success. All the scientists and government leaders around the world who made the collaboration possible. But most importantly, we'd like to thank all the teachers and students who embraced the global experiment. It was you who made it truly global and you who made it a success. Thank you.